making me work for it. Maybe she needs to phone a friend. I can't bear the suspense. I don't there's any suspense. Natasha, will you please do me the honour of becoming my wife? Yes. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it's all I've ever wanted. Hey, never mind looking, get dabbing. I don't know what we were thinking. Uh, I have a very good idea. Norris. Well. Was it switched on when... when... Yes, and poised for a winning bid. Cue downpour and lo, Rockin' Robin 8 strolls away with a foot spa that should have been mine. Well, you don't know that you've lost. Oh, he's a vulture. I've bid against his type before. Still, that's what happens when you take him waifs and strays. You were a waif once. Did I flood your bathroom, hog the remote? No, and yes. Wander into other people's bedroom in the dead of night? That was one time. Oh. How bad is it? Like the Red Sea, without the parting. That was one time I lost my bearings, one time. Yeah. Ah, just the woman I was looking for. As opening gambits go, that is always a winner. Now then, would you class having a drink in your own pub as a busman's holiday? Not if someone else is paying. It's my birthday, and there's no one I'd rather spend it with. Don't tell our Katie or I said that. And what's Eileen going to think? It's too cosy enough. Nope. It's icky, and I don't like icky. Yeah, well, it will be if you're there to I thought she was your mate. She is? Well, have you not spoken to her? Since Sean blabbed? Yeah. Well, not properly, no. Have you? She's back in work today. You know what feelings, Eileen? Stroke, stroke, business as usual. You don't let the grass grow, do you? Well, we're not teenagers, are we, love? We are not. No. And you know what, there's one thing I can't stand, it's an atmosphere. I want my seat for you then. Sugar's good for stress. Shock, it's not the same. What are you doing? You're not split hands, you need a trim. I'll ask a hairdresser. A proper hairdresser, not the boy who brushes up. Right, come on, you need your strand. <sighs> What's good for guilt? I'll have a big dollop of that. You know, some colour would really lift that. I'm not talking blonde streaks or old cheesy like that. Right, just, just ignore him. Ignore him. Right, come on. Turn that frown upside down. Accidents happen. Yeah, I'm always looking for models. I have to live there. Every time I squelch my way to the bathroom, I picture Rita's face. Oh, what's this trouble in paradise? Have you not got a barnet to butcher or something? If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Yep, the fast trap to nowhere. No, a little place called Home Sweet Home. You might have them one day. Well, you said it wasn't five star luxury. I wasn't kidding. Oh. And Craig loses keys every time he gets trashed. And does Craig get trashed a lot? Only every night. Gabby, let's just say we're not on the landlord's Christmas card list. Bathroom through there, kitchen this way. Daddy's home! One bowl of sugar puffs all day. Craig, Sophie, Sean. Hi. Right. Come on, son, weave your magic. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Is that? From work. Past its sell by. What if the boss finds out? She won't. The boss should pay him a proper wage. Yeah, and me. Yeah, but... It's not robbing, so not really. It's recycling. Exactly, recycling in a throwaway world. I'll uh, I'll put them in the West Wing, Craig. Well, you could try the chassis out, but if there is any moisture on the main board, it, it might short out one of the components. Well, how, how can you tell? You can't. Uh, well, not without. Uh, Maybe he's right. I mean, these kids don't have the same respect for property that we do. Well, they have complete respect for you. I mean, uh, Graham's a nice enough kid, but he's been in and out of prison. He holds down two jobs, three sometimes. And Tina's a lovely girl. Yeah, easily led the... Whoa, cowboy! 
What are you doing? Well, I'd call it an exploratory operation. Rita! Yeah, well, feel free to explore Norris's appendix. I need a trained eye for this job. Oh, there's a chap in Inkerman Street puts a card in the window. No. No. I want a proper workshop for a proper job. At proper extortionate prices. Unless, of course, you want to charge those responsible. Oh, they're always short of cash. Yes, and living rent-free on the kindness of strangers, unlike the rest of us. It's a moral dilemma. Not for me, it's not. Oh, you're a dark horse. Isn't he a dark horse? Mm. Oh, did you know about this, David? Well, he did consult me, yeah, me being the... Of bling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be much of a surprise, can it? Beautiful girl, baby on the way. These days, yes, it is a surprise, but it's a wonderful one. Do you really mean that? Of course I mean it. Oh, darling, why wouldn't I mean it? Oh, now, please don't start, because you'll start me oh, up. Happy the hormones raging. No, 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 it's not. You better get used to it. It's just you have to be nice to me at work. That'll work. Oh, rubbish. Wait a <laughs> I'm nice to you because I think you're a lovely girl. And you're going to be very good for him. Mm. I mean, all those other stroppy slappers I used to go for. Wow. <laughs> Do you mind? Oh, shoot me now. Oh, no, Maria, not you, of course, no. <laughs> but you never made him happy, darling, and you will. I'm delighted you're joining the family. Yeah, even though Platt is a better surname than Tildesley. Well, she might keep Blakeman. She won't keep Blakeman. Oh. I missed something. Oh, hi, Mum. Uh... You've saved us a trip. Me and Natasha just got engaged. Today? Yeah, today. Yep, in front of the whole factory. Wish I'd been there. <clears throat> so we're going to go to the Rovers to celebrate. Uh, the drinks are on us. You are still coming to the house? Well, uh, I've got plans. If you don't mind me uh, whisking my fiance off. You whisk away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think the word you were grasping is congratulations. It's not a big job. Five minutes in a drill, probably. I'd do it myself, only. We'll leave it to the maestro. Saturday morning, see, love. Send one of your hunky lads round if you're busy. <laughs> I'll do it Saturday, then. <laughs> aye, aye. It's one man and his dog. <laughs> Afternoon. Afternoon, Mr Armstrong. And how was school, darling daughter? She did go. I walked to her myself. He's a good lad. He's my boyfriend, not my bodyguard. All the same. Cheers, Chesney. What are you doing tonight? He's wondering if that's a trick question. And I'm wondering if the lad fancies a drink on me. Of course he does. Non alcoholic. Oh, he's washing his hair. Rover, 7 pm onwards. Oh, where he can keep his bead a little eye on you, unlike at the flat. I don't know. You moan when I don't include your friends, and then you moan when I do. That'll be sound, yeah. See ya. We'll have to buy him a present. <laughs> oh, two thick foot. She just blanked me. No, oh, she didn't. Everyone thinks I'm a thug. Everyone who knows thinks you're an hero. Gary especially. You're off for an interview, right? Down the cop shop. So if you don't see me tonight, it's because I'm eating porridge. You come from around here, have you? No. I think an apology's in order. Yeah, you're right. There is. Sweetheart. We're big girls. Right. We're going to see Liz anyway. It's more than one apology, Owen. Just back off, all right? I'm sick of you ranting in me here. I don't need to explain myself. I'm going to sort this. That's all you need to know. Right. But this afternoon, before he makes a fool of himself... He won't. And you. I won't pull any stunts. I'll do it. As soon as the engagement force dies down. Do you know what? I've tried to be kind to you. I put all this madness down to grief. You're not grieving. You're greedy. You just want it all whether you deserve it or not. Oh, go and have your champagne. I hope it chokes you. But I won't be there to see it. No way. Tell me, I'd love to know, what do girls do with your old engagements? <laughs> what are you asking me for? Well, I've bought a few, and this fella has a South African mine named after him. Oh, there's me thinking he was the loyal type. Ah, oh, God loves it, Troyer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you haven't answered my question. It's a bit like fishing, isn't it? Is it? 
yeah, you've got any sense, you can keep hold of the whoppers and you throw the little tiddies back. <laughs> so, where's Fizz? Um, she said she was coming. Well, what would you do? Veg out at home on the sofa with a massive family sized bag of Wotsits or cram your bloated little trotters into a pair of killer heels for this? This is Natasha's engagement party. I know, exactly. I mean, who wants to watch us lot raving on when you're up the what's it? No offence. It's not a dirty word, Sean. I know, and I'm not anti-pregnancy per se. I mean, in fact, I'm quite jealous. Gives you your own personal get-out-of-jail-free card. You are? Could you move that bin, love? No, sorry, I can't do my placenta's playing no. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gail, I'm glad you could make it. Well, I'm hardly going to stay at home twiddling my thumbs the day my first-born son announces his engagement. Even though I am the last in Wenfield to know. Well, that's Nick. Spontaneous. I would have thought. If you were an Eskimo, you'd be an op to the ice man, you. I'm more Sudoku than cryptic crossword. Come again. You fall for everything, up, line and sinker. I've seen you staring wistfully at the happy couple. I don't begrudge them. I know you don't. Well, I think Nick has got a very narrow definition of beauty. Oh, but I do love the romance of it all. My point exactly. You see romance, I see a lass with pound signs in her eyes and a gun pointed in a fella's back. Oh, short, your karma. I dread to think. No, I'll say it loud and proud. My glass is half full and it always will be. Mine's half empty. Get your purse out, Pollyanna. Now, has everybody got a glass? Oh, just a drop. I don't understand the fuss about this stuff. Doesn't seem fair, you green or just juice. Oh, that's all hype, that. I mean, look at Sarah's friends in Italy. Eight months gone, glass of Chianti in one hand and a goat she's here patter in the other. I mean, look how their children turn out. It's happening, Mum. Like it or lump it. You're right. What arm can one glass do? Cheers. Oh, cheers. 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 Sorry about the bed. <laughs> I'm a guest at Craig Break at Trampolini. Gabby, actually. Trampolini for two, if you catch my drift. Nice. Uh, we'll be fine with this lot on the floor, thank you, because we've, we've got a sleeping bag anyway. Oh, cool. Yeah. Come through to the lounge when you're ready. A couple of beers before we head out. Great, thank you. Okay. Will you crack a smile? I didn't have to put us up. I don't like it. And I do. Come on, Shan, the old place thinks of weed. I'm sure that Craig guy was skinning up as we walked past the lounge. <laughs> it's their house and they can do what they want when they're paying rent, because we're not. I just... self don't know. Be honest. Was home worse than this? Uh, yes. Be honest. All right, well, I had a bed at home. Yeah, um, a bed, a hot water. A bath without a flaming tree growing in the middle of it. Uh, but I didn't have you though, did I? And I never will if I go back now because my dad will have me under house arrest until I'm old enough to get my pension. <sighs> Why not like everything they do, but they're not forcing us to join in? Yeah, well, what if he asks you to steal off that Mrs. Griffiths? Um, he's not Fagan. <laughs> and it's probably just blag to impress us because he calls a living room. Lounge. He's probably got a grade 8 in piano and his parents probably live in Surrey. Mm. He's probably got a sister with a pony <laughs> called Toots. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on? <laughs> no. It's all this passive smoking. It's going to my head. I've not spent a lot of time in police stations. Was it scary? I kept my hands under the table so they couldn't see me shaking. And. Dropped. Insufficient evidence. Dad Jewett was saying one thing, and I was saying something else. But we were proper nuts about it. I was bricking it. Mate, if I'm out on patrol with another ten like you, this tour's gonna pass like a dream. You're a diamond. Yeah, you can't grow up my leg in here. Why? No one's looking. How do you know? Because they're all too busy getting plastered and breathing garlic in each other's faces. What is the attraction of pubs? Or this pub? It's like my nana's living room on Halloween. Hey, more pop and crisps, anyone? Oh, jog on, isn't it? Lollipops. Jelly and ice cream. Only if it's strawberry. I oh, know. Don't encourage her. Come here. That reminds me. Waste disposal's broken. Dad, another job for you Saturday. Don't fall for it. There's people staring. Yeah, that's why she's doing it, to wind you up. Yeah, but it's working. Okay, so play her at her own game. Gross. Isn't it? 
Eileen, sorry. Oh, you look nice. Happy birthday, boss. Thanks, love. We were just looking about. I'll get you a drink. I thought the likeness was uncanny. Cheers. Thank you, Hart Bay. There you go. Well, you must admit, they make a really handsome couple. So when did you become a cheerleader? You think she's as clingy as I do. Nick loves her. Nick couldn't shake her off, is all. Something's not right. Oh, you didn't see her in the medical centre this morning. She's not enjoying this. She's on pink. That, well, daggers, actually. She can feel you aiming them at her back. She doesn't care about me. Gail, she's like a puppy. She's desperate for approval. Well, she'll not get it from me. Why do you think Nick didn't tell me first? Do you know, you've had a face like a slap backside ever since you came in here. If you can't be generous to them tonight of all nights, why don't you beg her off all? Do you know, that's the best idea you've had all week. Oh, it's all way, all way. We really were just messing about before. No skin off my nose. Eileen, you're a good mate. I don't want to tread on your toes. In case you haven't noticed, Liz, Owen has a mind of his own. So you're OK about us seeing one another? Oh, cooler than Pedro the polar bear. Good luck to you. You're going to need it. Well, you came. It's more than I deserve. I know you might not believe me, but I really am over the moon for you. Really. We've all got to grow up sometime. Hey, let you into a secret. It's a lot more fun than it looks. Oh, you won't believe this. I've just had the security film on the phone. The alarm's going off in the yard. Be love and go and switch it off, will you? And what if some masked raider just grabs me? No, no, they've checked. There's no one in there. Just go in there, give it a quick once over, and then just come back. Has anyone ever told you you're a gentleman? No, of course they haven't. <clears throat> We're having a little flutter. He is having a little flutter. I say 12 months. She says happily ever after. What does Gypsy Rose Leanola predict? What? The Weatherfield Wedding of the Year! <clears throat> number two, because yours will be number one. <laughs> well, I think they're really well suited. Oh, don't be so cynical. I'm with you, Leanne. I think it's good old-fashioned true love. thought about dresses? Disguise the bump or draw attention to it? I suppose it depends on what date you say. Hey, main thing is, is he taking you on a honeymoon? Hey, are you taking me on a honeymoon? Hey, I asked first. Uh, pass, pass and pass again. Cheers. All President correct, Chief? Yes. Well, it's no surprise to me, but hey, go through the motions if you must. I will! Hey, Dolphus. I'll save you the walk. Four twenty, please. And a bag of nuts for yourself. Evening, soldier. You've been keeping a low one. Huh? <sighs> Big family, lots of good buys. And a girl in every part, I bet. Cheers. No. Not my style. Don't tell me you're too busy to have a drink on that. Look, clock's ticking. I'm meeting a mate, a good mate. So I'll uh, see you around. Yeah. Thirsty. Attractive and observant. I'll drink to that. There's, uh, there's some seats over there. Do you want to sit down? No, I'm all right here. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm not. There's only so much I can take of Bridezilla. Come on. <laughs> I know your game. Do you? 
You're just sulking because she's not asked you to be page boy. <laughs> page boy. I am really pleased for you, you know, after everything that's happened. Uh, yeah, it's been a bumpy ride. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I'm going to be a dad and I'm going to be a husband. Who'd have thought it, eh? Yeah, I've got a family I never knew I wanted. And now you've got them? I'm never going to let them go. <laughs> Could have locked the door. I tried the house and I saw the lights on in here. What are you playing at? Look at this. You'll not believe it. What? Natasha's medical records. Are you mad? That is confidential. You could lose your job. In fact, you should lose your job over this. She's had a termination. Well, that's none of your business, then. Over four weeks ago, she's been lying to us all, including me. No, no, it's a mistake. It's a computer error. It happens all the time. Not on this system. That cart is a stickler. Well, that explains everything. The tears, the weirdness. Oh, no. Can't be. I mean, what possessed her? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Why, are you going to tackle her? What, and listen to more lies? No. I'll speak to Nick. <sighs> you saying I should keep my mouth shut? I am saying just box clever. Because if you blurt all this out, it might blow up in your face and you might lose your job. Or you might lose your son. Oh, the lovely Gail. Isn't she so supportive of Nick and Natasha? Will Gail reveal Natasha's secret? Find out from the actress who plays Natasha at itv.com slash Corrie to watch the video interview. Next this evening, a powerful and dramatic conclusion in Bouquet of Barbed Wire. Uh.